Hi friends, this is Mary Fredericks and uh, I want to do a little card for you today using uh, the double gatefold idea that uh, Raylene sent me this card on a text and she said I could show it to you. So uh, I've made uh, all the dimensions here and the instructions as well. And I will post that on my next newsletter and uh, hopefully perhaps on the internet as well. So um, look for that. Join my newsletter if you haven't already. Uh, here's what my version of the card looks like. I simplified it just a little uh, and used this die cut to do the words in its stylish shapes. And I want to give you a little heads up on it. I couldn't find it in the new catalog, but if you uh, use this item code, uh, you can find it as well. So if you can't uh, figure out where to get it, contact your demonstrator or contact me and I'll make sure you get it. But it is just a go-to. It's got everything and uh, it can layer, as you'll see later. Um, here's my sample that I'm gonna use later. See, I've used it twice to give that nice little layer. So I uh, really hope everybody has that if you use die cuts. Otherwise, punches work as well. So here's the, the double fold. Is that not cute? And uh, this whole piece is uh, your designer series paper. It's just a little couple layers of regular cardstock in the middle. So I did another one using uh, Latte Love. Actually, this is... Um, on an online exclusive and you can still get it let me know if you need help finding it but it's if you love coffee and uh, you think it would be fun get it and the paper is great honestly you could just get along with just the paper so and and fussy cut your pieces so you take the belly band off and open it up isn't that cute doesn't that just make you like want to get together for a little coffee party latte party so those are a couple that I made and I am going to uh, well first I want to show you make sure you know how, how we're doing this this is what is scaled down of course is a 12 by 12 sheet of paper maybe a little closer and you can see and I'll show you what you can get out of that by uh, first cutting at five and a half um, right here and then cutting that little one and a half strip off which you can use for other cards Raylene has used hers for a bonus card as you'll see on the recipe and then you need to slice a little one inch piece for the belly band and then you have all of this for something else and it's actually cut perfectly because it, it is five and a half so here's how it's going to go the most difficult part of this card is to get your folds right. So I'm using trusty tool set, making a guy card here, and I'm going to cut, not cut, I've already cut it at 10 and a half by five and a half. And I'm gonna go one and a fourth, three and a fourth, seven and a fourth, and nine and a fourth. So the way I do it is I use my cutter, so I can see it. And I just, and of course, when I use my bone folder, I always seem to lose the scoring blade. So it will start out and just do one and a half. No, I'm sorry, one and a fourth. Uh, did I mess that up? I did. Well, I'm going to make it work anyway. One and a fourth. Three and a fourth. And it's so easy because it's all a one fourth measurement. Three and a fourth, and all the way over to seven and a fourth. So I guess you can still see that. Maybe not. Yeah, over here, seven and a fourth. And the very last one is going to be nine and a fourth. So don't do like me and say nine and a half, it's nine and a fourth. Okay, that's my score. 
Yeah, I haven't done this card before, so it's going to be a little fun to, for me, too, to see what it looks like. So press that down pretty good. And this one down pretty good. This is going to be the inside piece of your card. And then just flip it back. Oops. Because I made that mistake. There it is. Not going to show <laughs> where I boo-booed there. So then this piece is going to be flip right here. And see how it comes together in the middle? And this is just a nice little guy card. So on the inside, I've already done one. And I decided that I just like the paper so much that uh, I was going to use some of it for the inside. Not a lot of it shows, but I, I like the matching color. Of course, I'm going to use my silicone mat. Get a little tape on there. If you use this, you won't get your paper stuck up, and your um, your tape runner will work perfectly without getting gummed up. Of course, you're going to put this in the right place. Why are things always harder when you're trying to do it on a video? There you go. Good enough. And it's going to go right here. So you do see a little edge there, but I like the, the manly look to this. And I'm keeping it simple because, you know, guys like it simple. So it's just going to say, happy birthday. I could get fussy and do some other things, but um, my husband and others have told me, the guys say, keep it simple. So here we go. Now, this was my piece from the edge, and that would work nice for the bell band as well, either way. But I kind of like the metallic look here. So I, I cut another piece of this paper. Well, actually, you saw it on the inside. So I'm going to use this. And the way I do the belly band, so, so simple, you guys. It is fun. Just bring it across. And it doesn't have to be all this long. Be sure it's not too tight because we're not be able to slip it on. We want it too loose either. There you go. And that's just going to be this piece here. And uh, for an experiment, not having done this card before, I think it turned out all right. So there you are. And if you wanted to, uh, you could probably layer it onto something and Give it a little more color, but I think this is fine. So enjoy, have fun, join my newsletter, and uh, please hit the like button. Thank you. Bye.